Researchers in 2016 found the world's oldest water about 1.8 miles, 3 kilometers, deep at a Canadian mine. IFL Science reported that the same team found groundwater at a similar depth in the Moab Katsongold and uranium mine in South Africa. Similar to the oldest water, it contains elements that allow life to survive even without access to sunlight. In fact, Oliver War, a research associate in the Department of Earth Sciences at the University of Toronto in Canada and lead author of a new study about the groundwater discovery, described the location in a statement as a Pandora's box of helium and hydrogen producing power. The golden uranium mine, known as Moab Katsong, sits about 100 miles, 161 kilometers, southwest of Johannesburg and is home to one of the world's deepest mine shafts, plunging to depths of 1.86 miles, 3 kilometers, below the surface at its deepest, according to the mine. Geologists estimated the groundwater to be at least 1.2 billion years old. They also found that it is enriched in the highest concentration of radioactive chemical element ever discovered in any fluid. Barbara Sherwood Lawler, a professor at the same university and department, said that the discovery of the oldest water in Canada marked the beginning of discovering extreme ancient groundwater outposts of the world's water cycle that is more widespread than once thought. One of the most exciting parts about this new discovery is that at first we thought the groundwater at Kid Creek was an outlier, or told life science. But now we have this brand new site located somewhere different with a completely different geologic history that also preserves fluid on a billion year timescale. It looks like this is a feature of these environments, which represent about 72% of the total continental crust by surface area. The samples collected contained high salt content about eight times more than that of seawater as well as concentrations of uranium, radiogenic helium, neon, argon, xenon and krypton. They also found the presence of hydrogen and helium, both of which are important energy sources. This finding offers a previously unseen glimpse of helium diffusion from deep within the planet, an important process to consider as we face an ongoing helium shortage, and could hint at energy production under the surface of other planets, too, according to the study. Image Credit, Dr. Oliver War, University of Toronto.